Nikki. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new. And in today's video, as you can tell by the title, we are going to be kind of taking our own twist on a look that I saw in the Savannah music video for Mango. If you haven't checked it out, you totally should. Beautiful music video. Love it. I literally stumbled across it on accident and I'm in love. Downloaded the song, but the music video really intrigued me. And she had such beautiful makeup looks. Oh my gosh. But this one kind of stood out to me. And I was like, oh my god. Not only the makeup, but the hair. And I was like, I want to try. So I did. So if you guys want to see how I was able to create this look on myself, then please keep watching. Honestly, I'm going to be switching cameras back and forth because... Yeah, so I hope you don't mind. But so I did my brows off camera. I carved them out with the Juvia's Place Iron Magic Concealer. I used my LA Colors brow pencil and shade medium for my brows. And then I decided to set my eye a little bit with this uh, Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder because I didn't want, because we're gonna be working basically like halfway out and I didn't want the inside to be creasing. So I decided to just I was gonna say crease it all, set it all. So I'm gonna move it onto the face. And also what I did was spray my face with this Tarte Ready Set Radiant Skin Mist. So for foundation, I'm gonna be using the CoverGirl True Blend. I believe it's a matte foundation, yeah, in shade T10. So I was just looking at her makeup look again. I'm using, I think this is a Real Technique sponge. I love the shape. Um, it really get, lets you get into the places that you need. But so I was looking at the makeup look again and I'm like, oh my God, like her makeup was just so pretty and glowy. And then even her lips like only had just like a clear gloss to seem like. And I'm like, I wanted to do me a nice little ombre lip, but guess what? We're following her because she looks stunning. So we're gonna attempt. I'm gonna take a little bit more. Kind of like to take a little bit and then go add on as I go instead of like using too much product. Even though I probably just did that, but we're we'll ignore it. I also made my brows a bit shorter than I normally do because of the way that the eyeshadow is gonna be. But I actually kind of like it. I think I was making my eyebrows a bit too long. So lesson learned. So for concealer, I'm going to take the same concealer I used on my eye, which is the Juvia's Place Eye Magic Concealer, and this is in shade 18. I'm running out. But the whole creative direction in this video, I think, was so beautiful. Like, every look somehow reminded me of, like, mangoes, which I think was obviously the point. And it, oh, I, I genius and beautiful. I just, I loved the video. It literally just popped up randomly. I'm using the um, same sponge. It literally popped up randomly on my, on my recommended page. And honestly, YouTube, thank you for that because I needed that in my life. And now I just listen to it all the time. So thank you. Thank you, YouTube. I like to use the end of this sponge to really blend everything out because like I said prior, it really lets me get into like the crevices of my eye and even around my nose if I need to so and I think it just gives me more control rather than using the big side and it just like you know taking up the whole space I have smaller areas to work with so I like that I feel like we're matte but I feel like it's still we have a bit of dew so because I liked how dewy she was and stuff I kind of want to continue with like this cream so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my LA Girl Pro Conceal. This is in the shade Chestnut. Take a little bit of it, or a lot, it's a lot. I'm just gonna put it where I wanna contour on the perimeters of my face. I've been loving using this concealer as a base for like my contour. It's It's been great, It's it's been lovely, so. I'm gonna set under my eyes a little bit because I do experience creasing, but that's about it. I'm gonna take a foundation brush and do that. Just a bit, right here. I also wanna carve out over here. So that's what I'm gonna do, a little, kinda like that. Kinda set where I think that the makeup would maybe get a little crazy. And that, 
is about it. And of course, I'm gonna go into some powder bronzer and bronze this face. So I'm gonna be using this um, Beauty Bakery Neapolitan bar. I've really been enjoying this. It's probably been in like every single video that I've posted since I've gotten it. So I'm gonna take like this e.l.f. angled brush. It's a bronzing brush. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna go in. I wish this was an eye I could do before like my <laughs> base because literally if I mess it up, it's like I'm gonna have red everywhere, but we're just not gonna think like that, you know? We're gonna be like, oh my God, you're gonna do perfect. Then I take just a big fluffy brush and blend, 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 blend. any blush but I do want to go into highlight and I love this highlighter from this palette so I'm going to take my highlighting brush and add it a jelly highlighter I love how just like natural I feel like that looks like it's just kind of like there I like that I always go back in and like fix the bronzer and fix the highlight to where I want it to be. I literally do this all the time. So I'm gonna use the same Tarte um, Ready Set Radiant. It smells so good. Time for the eyes. Oh Lord. So for the eyes today, I went through all my palettes and I could have sworn I had more red eyeshadows, but guess not. I need to look into it so let me know of any good red eyeshadows or any palettes that have good reds that you know but so far I just found that the James Charles Morphe palette literally has every freaking color so duh and then the BH Cosmetics take me back to Brazil now I feel like this red in here would be better but it looks like it's a bit shimmery and I know for a fact her eye was really matte but um so I don't know. If anything, I'm going to I'm going to start with the James Charles Red, which is this shade right here. Um I believe it's called You're Kidding. So this shade right here. And um if I feel like it needs like an addition of some type of red cuz I feel like this red is pinkish, but I could be mistaken. Um then I'll go ahead and add the red in this palette, but you guys will obviously see. So um it's mid eye out and it's a triangle. <laughs> I am not creative whatsoever. So this right here is not my swag. Oh my gosh. Anyways, Nikki, shut up. So I'm, I have my mirror in front of me and I'm just kind of gonna, I'm gonna kind of go with it. I feel like I need music. Oh, well, I'm on my phone, so can't do it. But so I'm gonna use just like this flat brush. It's the Morphe X Jaclyn Hill JH42. Um, the brushes that I actually picked out for this look that I thought would work very well is just this e.l.f. Duo Eye, um, duo eyebrow brush because of the angle um this morphe jacqueline hill jh 43 this jh 42 brush from the morphe jacqueline hill and then also this bh cosmetics 102 brush it's a flat brush but now that i'm looking at it, i think i'm going to take the morphe jacqueline hill jh 43 um it looks like this it seems like it might give me a better like control so i'm going to use that so i'm going to start from the middle now it doesn't go all the way up it's kind of just like mid so i'm gonna go oh lord lord okay cool So I'm, it may look like I'm jabbing my eye, but I'm barely touching my eye. I'm scared. And the payoff is very good, so. It's working well. So I'm literally, I'm taking the shadow on the tip of the brush, obviously, and I'm lightly swiping it across my eye. I am barely touching this girl, like, barely. Like I'm barely touching the girl.
So that is the shape that I created. <laughs> I'm going to add a bit more like closer to my waterline because I feel like it just looks like it's missing. So I'm going to kind of like touch up a bit right there and connect it the best that I can. I wonder who the makeup artist for this video was. I know it said it in the credits, but I didn't pay attention, but they snapped because <laughs> this this is different. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with that BH Cosmetics. I believe it's the 162. I'm so sorry. 162 brush. And I'm going to take that same color on it and I'm going to pack it. So I'm going to take that same brush that we were using before and like I was doing towards the end of using it, I'm going to connect and drag out like that. Oh, she's not bad. <gasps> That's cool. It's so cool how they came up with like that whole idea like half of the eyes nude and then the other half is like just like this bold just like winged that's so beautiful okay i have this brush on hand it's just a brush i got from tj maxx but it's kind of flat but fluffy at the same time but i'm gonna take concealer well Actually, never mind. It looks pretty damn straight to me right now. So if I want to make any changes, I would just use this brush and this concealer to kind of clean up any edges. But as of right now, it looks pretty damn decent to me and I'm shook. But I have a whole other eye. So let's not get too excited. But so I'm taking that same color that's called You're Kidding. I'm going to create the line like in the middle of my eye. And then start making lines very lightly like you don't want to be hard you're literally like barely even touching your eye like barely I wish I could like go on your hand and show you like barely touching your eye okay so now I'm gonna take the Packer brush the BH Cosmetics 162 on that same color and pack in why am i screaming i'm so sorry okay i'm gonna create the wing again because i obviously messed it up like this eye i'm definitely gonna have to uh conceal a bit so i'm gonna take the juvia's place concealer and just put a little bit on the back of my hand now, I think I'm actually going to use the angled um, eyebrow brush. It's a clean brush, but um, I just want to make sure it's more clean like that, kind of. Oh my god, no, I did not just do this. First of all, I mean, it's honestly not that hard. Like, I promise you, if I can do it you can do it but this is such a i thought it was such a beautiful look so but we're not done because we still have the hair ah. so i'm gonna use my fenty beauty mascara because to me it didn't look like she had lashes on but even if she did i don't have any right now they're being shipped to me as we speak so we're gonna stick to just regular mascara i feel like i don't know if she had anything in her waterline but i kind of want to add black but i also want to add white but I think I'm gonna add black. It gives me more of a mysterious look, but I'm only adding it to like the outer corner. I'm not adding it to the whole entire waterline and you'll see as I go. Just like that. And then I'm gonna take that same mascara and use that for my bottom lashes. Wow, this is different, but I like it. Okay, that red I think worked very perfect as well. I had to wear yellow too because I was like, okay, she's like trying to like embody a mango. And I'm like, let me try to embody a mango too, you know? 
Okay, so I think I want to finish my face before I move on to my hair. I'm going to go back in with the Juvia's... <laughs> I'm going to go back in with the Beauty Bakery palette and just add a bit more bronzer to where I contoured. Because I was a bit scared, but now everything else is done, so... And then, like I said, her lips were very just, like, clear gloss. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to use some clear gloss. For my clear gloss, I have this Elizabeth Arden Crystal Clear Lip Gloss. I've been using this a lot on my channel recently, and I like it. It has a bit of, like, a um, lip plumping action to it. crazy i can't believe i did this wow i'm gonna set my face again and then i think i'm gonna add a highlighter on top so that it like pops yes ma'am yes ma'am mm-hmm I love how bold but also simple this look is if you know what I'm saying so okay underneath here I have hair uh, well and um, I slicked it down last night but I woke up and it looked crazy but I have a video where I did like this look that I'm about to do from start to finish like from when I freshly washed my hair so I'm gonna put that up here in like the cards so that you guys can go and look to see like how I do it from scratch but this is from day one day two hair she's crazy so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take my eco styler gel and i'm also gonna take just this flat brush and i'm gonna kind of work like that so i take a bit on the brush and then i brush down my hair isn't long enough to put into a small bun like she had but that's fine small hair long hair anybody can do it period but i'm gonna take the gel like on my hands and kind of start putting it on my hair so that I could just like brush it down and it'll be a bit easier I find it so much easier to work with day one hair and you would think that like you know because I already had the gel in and everything it'd be easier no sis doesn't want to stick so there's that I was kind of doing what I want as I'm adding like a bit more gel I'm not adding like clumps of gel I'm adding a bit more each time so that's kind of how I'll do it. So the back is now slicked. I'm gonna put a little bit on the front because the front was more slick, so I was focusing on the back, but we're gonna do that so that everybody gets some love. Then I'm gonna do my edges. I sometimes take the end of a eyebrow, yeah, eyebrow brush and I kind of just I'm gonna keep a curl out, I think, because she was out already. Then I'm gonna take this brush and kind of do the same what I was doing before. I'm gonna put my scarf back on. I'm gonna let it sit for a bit because what we're gonna do next, I don't want it to like. I don't know, I feel like adding clips to my hair when it's just like freshly gelled or wet will not be the best thing. So I'm gonna put my scarf over it for now. For a little bit. And then I'm gonna switch to my camera because I'm sure she's charged now. And then we're gonna get into this amazing, one of the amazing hair looks that she did. Um, she had so many that were just so beautiful in that video, so yeah. So I'm gonna just chill for a bit, let this like sit for a second, and then I'm going to grab my camera and then we're gonna get into this hair. So I just looked at the picture again and I realized um, her wing is not so long, but I don't really mind it. So I think I'm gonna keep it a little bit because I don't mind. I think I'm gonna fix it a bit. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some concealer and I'm going to take that flat brush that I was talking about and I'm gonna make it a little bit like 
less just a tad and then wing it out make it a smaller wing because i do i did like the length of it i mean i felt like it was a little too long but i was right so i'm gonna make it more like it could be more chunky kind of but i don't mind that i'm gonna do the same here for the other eye so i'm gonna start on the outer We have fixed her. So I literally got like a whole box of like pearled clips like a few months ago, a month or so ago. And seems like I'm gonna use them. So that's good. And I have a few from Marshalls as well, but I'm mainly using the ones that are from Amazon. So going off of the picture I see here, we have work to do. First of all, let me see how this is looking. Oh Lord. She has some cute like crown and like heart ones and I don't have that but this is how my hair is looking so we're gonna just like add some clips in so I'm gonna do this one first it's like a big normal sized clip kind of gonna put it like right here and then I'm gonna add a skinny one like a bobby pinned one I should say not skinny add that in okay and then we're gonna go with this one yo this is different okay who came up with this this is so cool okay so that's this side for now or so far um, I think I'm only going to do the front because she has them all over her head, but I don't really feel that's necessary for me. But okay, so I'm going to add this big one right here. Oh my God, that's literally like the one she has, period. Um, I'm going to add a bobby pinned one. This is so cool. Okay, sorry. Anyway. I will link these down below as well, by the way, um, because they were not bad at all, and they come with a whole bunch. And they even come with like hair ties, I think, in there. I don't know why, but it come with hair ties, and I was like, okay, came with like two. But okay, so now we're going in with like a bobby pin, one, and we're putting that right next to it. And then I'm gonna go with this one. This is like more of like a square shape. okay and then I see from the side right so I'm gonna put one that's just like this next to this one actually because I don't know it seems like I'm not gonna have a lot of headspace there's one that has like a big pearl which is so crazy because I have one so I'm gonna put that one right here now and it is a bobby pin so I'm going to put that here cute and then I'm gonna kind of guess what she has more on this side because I do want to like try and fill up like just like what with two three more at the most so I'm gonna kind of just guess what she has on her side but this look is sickening like literally go to that video and you will find so much inspiration for like different looks like it's crazy I'm happy I was able to discover that I'm gonna take one that's similar to this one but it's just in a pin form and I'm gonna put that on that's gonna be the last one I think um, she goes around her head I don't I don't feel that's necessary for me right now so I'm gonna just do the front so this is how it looks with the full-on makeup look and the hair from the Savannah music video mangoes um, totally totally go and stream that song is so beautiful I love it and the music video even makes the song like 10 times better even though the song is like 10 times better if that makes sense but oh my gosh she is so beautiful I want to check out more of her work um, I I was so happy 
so um thank you guys so much for watching what do you guys think um i'm happy i was able to recreate this i'm happy i stumbled across the video because talent the talent jumped the hell out of her and her team and i'm i'm here to stand but thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope you guys enjoyed let me know what you guys think down below um i will have the links to these clips because it was a good deal um and yeah so thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like this video comment down below and subscribe to my channel and i will see you guys in the next one bye